But we're at episode 169 right now. I was, I was thinking, what were we doing 100 episodes ago? What was episode 100, Freddie? Or up episode no. 69. 69. Was... Oh, sorry. That's what I meant. <laughs> Freaky thing. <laughs> what was the catchphrase that you had for that day, Bert? Do you remember? <laughs> Me? Yeah, you usually have a catchphrase for the for the episode number. I have no fucking clue what I said about six. What did I say? I don't even remember. That was like so far back. I'm gonna have to. Pull oh, I thought you're gonna pull it up. No, no. Well, the episode that it was was um, the title of it was rather be broke on road than a richest man in jail and that's don the don million interview okay, okay. Mm-hmm. shout out to wow. don million yeah man that's crazy yeah 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 the moment in history it goes back wow that goes back yeah man. Freddy, sorry to cut you did you do what you said you were gonna do once um we started this uh-uh what are you talking about did you lock the thing? Oh yeah, yeah, I locked it. I locked it. I locked it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Shout out so to So what date was that? What date did you guys have your sixty? Because I, I definitely wasn't a part of the crew then. Wow. Let me see here. I'm gonna go. I was still pretty new. That was twenty five episodes in. Yeah, we were still, we were at the Youngster Dam, but we were still. Were filming, we at Youngster Dam by then? Yeah, we, we were filming yeah. more down. We, we were filming downstairs. Heads. AJ was smoked out more heads. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it smells like backwoods. <laughs> you guys, it, it smells like backwoods in the morning. Yeah, that it's, was. It's a, it's a dab lounge. It's a, it's a, it's a rig gallery. It's a glass rig gallery, not a blunt smoking area. Yeah, yeah. You we, guys gotta go. Yeah, we fucked that place up, but that was it's like, okay. We kept it they clean, closed though. anyways. We kept it clean though. Now they're a tattoo parlor or some shit. I was like, you closed anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, this is something different now. Facts. But that was like. Oh, it was like a while after we got into the Youngsterdam, but we were still filming downstairs in front of the wall that looks like Amsterdam. Yeah. Season three? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that would be about season three around them times. Shout out to Don Million. That was a dope interview as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, that would be season two. He was doing his rock and roll thing. He was on his rock and roll vibe. Yeah. Mixing the hip hop with the rock and mm-hmm. the melodic, he was saying, melodic sounds and shit like that yeah the guitar and shit in that and in the video yeah. and stuff yeah 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 yeah, yeah. his rock star life yeah man if i'm not mistaken <clears throat> yeah so you know i i was just like trying to think of some non-covid things before we get into this whole covid deep dive that i feel like we're going to get into right now just to, to to you know spark the people's memories out there of how long we've been out here and how many interviews that we've done too oh by the way um crickets that's all I got to say. That, I yeah. was going to ask you, did anybody challenge you? There was somebody I saw you calling people crickets. out on Twitter. <laughs> I, I saw you calling people out on Twitter, too. I didn't call anybody else particularly, so the, the, the people in the comments said something. Did the people in the comments say something? Because I swear that was your comment. Saying who? Your tweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you right. You right. <laughs> oh, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's you the right. bus back in the pool. Bye, um, yeah, I called out Flo. You know what I'm saying? You called out two people. Oh, and um, Vice. Let's go, Vice. We got that smoke for you. You ain't got, you ain't got 20 interviews that can match up to 20 We Love Hip Hop interviews. I dare you. Uh, <laughs> you calling out Smoke, eh, Friday? You know yeah, saying? his own smoke. So what 20 episodes are you going to put? If it was like a, a, in, uh, like a episode battle? What would be the like episode. the last one that you would drop? What would be like your... The your <laughs> <laughs> you can't even tell them that. You can't huh? tell them. I, I know. You I can't, can't tell really them give them, them, them all that. that you no, you can't give them that, that last one or whatever, but what's one? Give them one. Give them one out of 20. No random number. Just one. Any, it's just one out of the 20. We could throw Onyx at them. Bam. That's a soft thing. Especially with the moments that we got in there, you know, classic moment. That's a soft thing. I'm so. Oh, no, no, but that—that's what I'm saying. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm just pulling. That, that wasn't like soft. That was huge. That was and, big. And, that was, and, and that's and, and I'm pulling. But that's out. what you mean. That's you what know, you so mean. Sick? means like it's soft. Like obviously, we're gonna have to throw that one in there. Yeah. Oh, I know that. Yeah. yeah, I know that. And there's that's moments. like DJ Premier. 
and fucking RZA, you know he was gonna use certain tracks. You knew they were coming. Yeah, yeah, and and you know there was moments in there where he, you know, Fredro blew up the fact that the um, the, the boxing match was fixed. Um, how they came up with that? I made two fifty. <laughs> yep, they they came up with the name for the Chronic album. All those are we love hip hop moments. Bam. Um, could slap them with a little Tekka if you want. First one ever. Bam. Ooh. Okay, if we only want. asked you for one. Yeah, if we only want. asked you for one. This guy, you give him an inch, you want some mile, yo. I know, right? I was like, you only, you only asked for one. Just Did one. You, I didn't even get it for the Bizlo bag. Why you suck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah, crickets. Um, but yeah, challenge is still there if anybody wants it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this is the numbers too high. <laughs> what twenty? Yeah. Why? We're on a. You know how many videos are on the YouTube channel right now? That's us, not them. That's I'm the point. Saying. My fault. That's the point. That's the point that Friday's trying to make her. There's a thousand and six <laughs> videos on the YouTube channel. Guess how many of them are interviews? Hmm. <laughs> Where the fuck's my gunshots, yo? Jesus Christ. Mm -mm. Gunshots, gunshots. You quick on the job, you. Come mm -hmm. on. Boy, they're in there. Um, COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a prisoner's, the prisoner's rights group that they're out there right now. Shout out the, um, the prisoner's rights group. They, they got a GoFundMe page going on right now looking for um, supplies and stuff like that. So prisoners, emergency support fund, um, support prisoners in Ontario uh, during COVID-19. Incarcerated people are um, disproportionate, disproportionate risk at a disproportionate risk of contracting COVID-19. Unsanitary conditions, close quarters, frequent physical contact, and underlying cr um, chronic health conditions are many uh, are of many detained people. Um, contributes to the spread of the virus and threatens the well-being of prisoners and public health. So yeah, there's a link that I that I got here. I'll put it in the description also. Um, right now they got seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-five dollars um, of the fifteen thousand dollar goal that they're looking for. That's dope. Yeah, shout out to them, and um, that's going to be going towards masks. It's going to be like PPE, all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, uh, question. A, yes, yes, ma'am. Why um are we sure that it's going to supply the prisoners? Well, they're an organization, right? Um, shout out to um, uh, Warrior Blue Eye Jen on Instagram. Um, okay. she's she's been in the game for a while. You know what I'm saying? Putting in and work behind the scenes for like the people in uh, who've been incarcerated and stuff like that. So, I trust her. You know what I'm saying? I was just about to say, are you co-signing this Friday? I'm I'm co-signing with what she usually is up to. You know what I'm saying? She's always used to well, up to something okay. positive. Well, that's okay. I'm just making sure, right? She's back to her. Right. So, I'm just making sure, right? Because well, you just want to make sure that your money, like if it's going to the right foundation and it's going to the right people, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah, I feel a little something in there on the on the GoFundMe when I when I seen the link. But, um, you know, we were talking about it before, like, yo, you know, what can we do? You know, what kind of organizations might be out there helping? So at least there's one that's out there doing something. Um, well, and we need to find out from the men's if they're getting the things. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to follow up with her right. also and, and see what's going on once, once they reach their goal and stuff. Um, they all, she also put me onto this event. It's called A Wall is Just a Wall, an open mic fundraiser for prisoners during COVID-19. It's a spoken word, song, and storytelling thing going on April 18th um, from 2 p.m. to 5. Um, join Zoom, and there's a Zoom link that's on the flyer here. It's gonna, I'll post it on the, on, in, on post on the screen. So y'all can, you know, people can get in tune with that. You know what I'm saying? If you want something to do on Saturday. Brampton takes an L. Brampton's been taking L's. They What's took, new? <laughs> they took a big one this time. Their their mayor is livid right now. He said they found two cricket games, a couple of soccer games, and various house parties that they had to shut down and um, give tickets, right? Bro, remember, he was the guy who used to be in charge of the PC party. Hmm. Had his little scandal ended up being the mayor of Brampton now, right? Yeah. So the man was the first, one of the first people to come on television and say, "Hey, we found we find these guys. 
You find them a fucking thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. Man was having a twenty people gathering in his backyard. A hundred thousand dollars. Jeez. Oh, sorry, hundred thousand. A hundred thousand dollars. I couldn't believe it. That was so it. quick. So happy to jump on the news and be like, "Yep, we got him. We find him." <laughs> Yo, call three one one if anyone you know is gathering. Call three one one. They're encouraging snitching, bro. There's a lot. Of, yo, we never bought that up the other week. COVID nineteen snitchers. That's oh. the that's the other that's the other catch. COVID idiots. <laughs> COVID idiots. COVID idiots. COVID snitches. COVID snitches. They're like Corona yeah. switch. There's Corona snitches. I don't know, but they're just <laughs> doing the most, yo. Corona rats. Corona rats. Corona rats. <laughs> nice. Nice. But one thing with these guys, these these non social distancers, I have my opinion on it. I think we should just let them suffer. If you ain't following yeah. the rules, there's people who are trying to not catch COVID-19 who are catching it, and then they're suffering. Now, if you're just being willy-nilly, being irresponsible and shit, fuck that shit, and then you catch it, and you didn't give a shit in the first place, now you're taking equipment and medical supplies away from somebody who was really trying to not, not try to catch this shit, just because you're trying to be an idiot. So why the fuck should we care about you? Get in line, bro. That's my opinion. Not, I feel you. The the one that's sticky, I don't know if you see the video of the panhandler. What do you feel about that one? What video? What happened in the video? So pretty much um, the panhandler, they were arresting a panhandler. Same thing in Brampton or Mississauga. Mm. They're arresting him. Pretty much same thing. And they gave, I, I don't know, I'm assuming they gave him a friggin' social distancing ticket too. But my whole thing is like, bro. Listen, they just want to give out tickets, man. They, 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 there's no warning. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the warning time is done. The first couple of days, they're giving out warning. Now, they just want the money. They're after the bag, yo. Now they're just sending because shots. They figure this is the only way people are going to really listen. When they got this fucking debt hanging over their head on top of this, you don't want to listen. You don't want to feel. So here what? Well, a thousand dollar ticket. Exactly. You know yeah. Right on top of whatever you're going through right now in the life here, you know what? Hold a thousand dollar, or hold a five thousand dollar ticket for not, for not preparing, not um, not um, uh, participating in social distancing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Gathering in the parks, walking your dogs, and still gathering. You know what I mean? They're like, "Yep, all right, here, hold a ticket." Oh, you want to come sit in the park at the bench? Hold a ticket. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's going on right now. Yo, even like, um... <coughs> Sounds like a people, cash grab. Though, it, yep. It is kind of a cash grab, but same way, the people are not... Sounds f- like... Like, come on, man. Like, I'm not trying to be the the, the, the the soapbox guy or whatever, or standing on the soapbox, but come on, man. If we... How... How non-caring do you got to be where you're just like, yo, fuck it, we're just going to have a party anyway? Do you think that you're exempt? Like the niggas who think they're like YBN um, Almighty J, he went off on the <laughs> Breakfast Club. Yo, bun that, yo. What about the police recruits? What happened out? Yo, they're having a party. I seen it on the ticker. They might lose their badges because they're not fucking. St- they 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 didn't listen to Wagwan. They're partying. Yeah. No, right? everybody's just, everybody's accountable, dog. You know what I'm saying? Police. Yeah, yo, even down to the politicians and different people, like they're not all practicing. So it's like it's it's sending Bro, out a um a message to the people. Andrew Sheeran, Justin Trudeau, both flying cross country. Mm-hmm. Can we get into that? Can we get into that? That's like right next on there on there on the list. You got right you segue Herc. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess so today, cause yo, like yo. Them man there, mm. yo Justin Trudeau and that guy Edward, Edward whatever is Sheeran, whatever his name is, yeah, yo, that guy's a complex, okay? Complex. Yo, <coughs> that guy, all he does, look what Justin did. Don't look at what I did. Look at what Justin's doing. Yeah. His name is Andrew. Andrew Sheeran. Not Ed. And, yes, Andrew. Ed's the singer. Yes. We I was like, wait a second. Up. Hold on. I was like, wait. I like, I like Ed. <laughs> Andrew. Sorry. Thank you. That's okay. Pumplex. Thank you. At least we know who we're talking about. But yeah. the man, the man loves past the buck. The man loves to say, hey, but look, 
We weren't talking moistly on anybody. The man tried to be slick. Fuck and the reporter's like, yo, I asked you a question three times. You never answered. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's just a fucking... <laughs> yo, the man said, yo, don't, don't, don't do what we do. Do what we say, brethren. Okay, dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I felt like saying when I, I actually that's what I said to my TV like my crazy ass when he said <laughs> bro what type of disrespecting is that so all of the other people that's been locked down in their house following the social distancing not seeing their parents all of that bullshit so because you are the premier you can not follow the rules you're supposed to be the number one fucking rule follower but you're, you're going out here and traveling to go see your wife and kids didn't you just isolate from your wife for two weeks because she had COVID? Well, now, now they're reunited. Huh? Now they're reunited. Yeah, That's they're united and if reunited. But the man is like, yo, I was here by myself for two weeks. It sounded like the man was jonesing for Pum Pum more than anything. Mm-hmm. Probably. Mm-hmm. Being here to talk about Moistly on the air. So mm-hmm. we're going to what was on his mind. I'm mm. telling you, the man was the man is thinking about hey. Oh, I've been locked up in the house too long now, eh? I need my wife. Did someone just come off of a FaceTime call before he went to the podium? Mm. Or running the Zoom yeah, on a private? Like so. mm. <laughs> Andrew, the man love the man loved to say yo, but look at what Justin did. <laughs> yo, look at what Justin's doing. Don't look at what I'm doing. Yeah, my wife had wipes and we didn't talk moistly to anybody. <laughs> and we made sure we were so- but yo, Bridget, you're no better than him. The man's excuse was, oh, so I should fly back and forth rather than just bring my family one time. Mm. And then the reporter's like, so yo, why did your family have to come? You could have just stayed here and they could have stayed there. Could the man's be- like, well, then I'd have to fly back and forth. The man was not trying to answer the reporter's question at all. And she tried one more time. The man gave her the finger. Hey, <laughs> next question. Yeah. <laughs> This nigga was not trying to leave that moistly alone, bro. He had to go deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, but the man don't stop past the buck, yo. That's why he's not the premier right now. Because the mm. man, all he did was... No, the prime minister. what Justin's doing. Don't prime you know? Minister. People don't like fucking title tills? Huh? <laughs> You're just a big grown-ass title tale. Your mama never told you not to shut the fuck up and not tell on people, nigga? <laughs> fucking title tale. That's all this guy's trying to do. Trying to title tale his way into the premier's office, bro. The nigga when he was a kid. Uh, Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Prime Minister, thank you. When he was a kid, he used to get beat up. Tidy tail his way. Just tattle tail, tattle tail, tattle tail, tattle tail. Look at what Justin's doing. Look at this. Look at that. Nah, what about your backyard? Stop throwing stones in your glass house, brethren. That's the title today. Look at what Justin's doing.